Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little nervous. We, if you guys didn't notice, we tried shooting it twice, and I realized that Mark did the guitar before the telly that I originally had planned, and uh, I don't know. It was just one of those days we all have them where you're just kind of out of we it. We were rushing. Yeah, we were rushing. and uh, But still, uh, I still love that Molly Crew movie, and I still love what we did. Uh, I just... Uh, you know, I think my um or uh count was pretty high yesterday. <laughs> it was probably in the 20s, 30s maybe. I don't want to think about it. I know one of you already counted it out for me. Uh, <laughs> but we'll skip that today. Um, but it's another uh, Weird Ass Wednesday, uh, which is turning out, like I said, to be my favorite day. Um, today we're going to go over, you know, I'm, I'm cheating again. I, I got to admit, I'm just going to my favorite. But, uh... Let's just check it out. Let's not waste time. Come on back. So this is a 1965 Fender See-Through Blonde Jazz Master. Okay. Yeah. This is your favorite for sure. This is the one. <laughs> this is so this was from Norm's warehouse and it was actually the first time I went to the warehouse. And uh you know, so he calls me up. He goes, "Mike, it's your first day tomorrow doing this stuff, so I need you to come by the warehouse. And I was like, okay, all right, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, I knew exactly what was on my mind. It was one of these, and I start going through the case. He's like, what do you think we should bring to the shop? And I was like, oh, man. And then I opened this, and here it was. And uh, it's rare to see them in see-through blonde. I mean, I know you guys are probably like, it's got to be white. But if you look, you could see the grain. And they used the, the right wood for this one, the ash. But check it out. I mean, that's just... This it's is so clean. It's, it's insanely clean. clean. It's it's like we had Jason Sine, one of our favorite uh, store favorites around here today, and Norm was like, "Hey, check out that guitar." He's like, "Yeah, that's cool. That's cool." He's like, "It's 65, 1965. You would never know it. This thing is just so clean." So let's uh, talk about a little bit of the things here. This is a bit of a transition period from the, for the CBS uh, 65. So you got the witch hats. The white witch hats, which have uh, were changed over, and then you have the pearl inlays instead of the the uh, dot inlays. But it's pre the bound neck, which is cool. I I always say I like uh, without the bound neck. And as we said, Jazz Masters were fifty eight to eighty. So this was had still the like I said, it's a transition period, so it's got a lot of the same th things going on as the pre CBS. Um, like like I said, it's in between. So it's got the nitro finish. Um, and then the unbound fingerboard, like I said, um, plastic guard is another thing they switched over to. And then uh, the headstock decal starts to change a little bit. Um, but um, these, like I said, this is my favorite guitar um, with the soapbox pickups. It, people think these are P90s. These are not P90s. Uh, they're they're a little different. Kind of same in characteristic a little bit, but, but a, a different thing. And then you got your little ashtray here which comes off and it comes with hand tags check this out look at these people partying hang tags fender people partying instruction manual for the original jazz master pretty cool and it's got of course the tremolo arm which you need um one of the best tremolo arms in the business and one of the best best jazz masters i've ever played um norm's only got crazy stuff in his um you know private collection and this is just you're not going to find anything this clean. I, I think this just saw daylight for the first time <laughs> in probably about a lot of years. I think <laughs> so, 20 or 30 years he's had that. Yeah, this is just unbelievable. But uh, a fine piece, even for collection purposes, and uh, just an amazing player. So uh, we're going to bring it out front and see what this thing can do. All right, we're out front with the 1965 See-Through Blonde Fender Jazzmaster. Uh, we're going to start off with the rhythm selector. Um, let's check it out. Here we go. And we're also going through a deluxe reverb, uh, all the keys at noon, a little bit of reverb. Let's see what
Let's uh, switch it up to the neck pickup. Uh, check it out. Moving into middle position, uh, check this out. We're going to uh, utilize the bells behind the bridge, and uh, you can also get some chords with them too. Check it out. Last but not least, we're going to do uh, the bridge pickup. We're going to turn it up a little bit here, get a little bit of a uh, overdrive kick in. We're going to lower the reverb just a tad. All right, here we go. All right, check it out. Uh, this has also got a little bit of a bite to it, so.
Jazz Master. You can check out these guitars at Norman's Rare Guitars uh, on Instagram and Facebook at Norman's Rare Guitars. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. I'm glad to be here, and uh, we'll see you a lot more this week. Take care. Bye. Yeah.